I, I can't get enough of um, Carl as a kid. The stories he tells of his his mum and dad. Um, yeah, I like Scruffy Sound. I, I do like the kids with um, big heads and webbed feet. Now, they were the same people, weren't they? There wasn't kids with big heads and kids with webbed feet. No. Same. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> big heads, webbed feet. Brilliant. Um, uh, who else was on? Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy's good. She used to shoplift, didn't she? Shoplift. And she used to have a, a, her husband who she used to hit and put in the on basket. A tricycle. Yeah. And um, used to talk to you through a mirror. Yeah. That was it freaked me out. Oh, she could hold a mirror me and talk into talk it and then to sort of... you through it in quick save. Yeah. That is bizarre. Have you um have you offered information to the illustrators to sort of make sure that they look like No, the... but what when I saw it, it was pretty spot was on. It pretty spot on. Did you t did you ever ask me? No, I don't know what she looks like, no. What was I doing hanging around Quicksave in nineteen eighty three? In Manchester. Yeah. No, but I just wonder whether you ever said what was Miss Piggy like? I suppose the name says it all. It's like the elephant man. <laughs> yeah. You've got a kind of a starting point, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm particularly excited in this new series by uh, the animated version of, of Carl's film idea, oh. featuring uh, Rebecca De Mornay. And, <laughs> Clive, De Mornay and the Clive famous Warren. Clive Warren. The famous actor Clive Warren. It's amazing. That's one thing that, that, that they've really upped their game on. Um, uh, as I say, the, 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 the animation themselves, the, the characters, haven't changed. We like that existing in that bubble. And I like, I like the fact that all these have already been done. And so Carl can never change. If he gets a hit on the head and he's suddenly wise, it doesn't matter because that Carl exists uh, uh, and uh, captured in time. But um, what has changed is um, some of the direction. We were very careful with the first series. We didn't want to take away from the podcast. You know, it's been downloaded hundreds of millions of times. We were worried that people trying to add to the comedy might ruin it a little bit. So we were very careful. They just, they just, it was pretty straight. But um, this second series, they've, they've really animated it so so beautifully in there uh, they've directed it like a movie haven't they mm. they just do different things they do different angles and they, they go off of these flights of fancy it's just but different because I, I never you know really enjoy watching stuff back because I know it all hearing it all again but it is like it's different I forgot stuff that's happened because well, they've uh, done something uh, now, now this will this will be a shock to some people um Carl is never enthusiastic about anything, OK? And he's been watching this second series where we get the, the animatics through and then the final thing, and he's been laughing, which is, which is pretty scary. Actually, the one time he laughed on a podcast is in the final episode of this series, and they had to guess what he looked like laughing. I mean, you can see it's weird, it isn't is it? It is weird. It is weird, because they're guessing, he sort of goes... Like a little animated worm. <laughs> no, it is, it is, it's weird. Yeah, because no one's ever seen you laugh, really, have they? Uh, I do, I, we laugh, you know, you laugh socially. Yeah. And you what do you, what makes you laugh? Things that you shouldn't laugh at. OK, like what? I remember, I was doing an interview once, mm. and I started laughing, and the bloke was like, are you, are you laughing? I've never heard you laugh. I went, yeah, he said, what, did, what happened? And there was a woman, I was stood outside a hotel, because I was doing interviews in a hotel, and I couldn't get a signal. Mm. Right, so I stood outside on the street talking to this bloke, and I started laughing. Is what was going on? And I saw a woman. She's on the phone pushing a pram, and she hit something. And the baby fell out the pram. <laughs> <laughs> now the thing is, I know you shouldn't laugh at that, but it's because it shouldn't happen. And the way she just <laughs> carried on talking, picked it up, shoved it back in, <laughs> sort of as if it happens a lot. <laughs> And that made me laugh. It's things like that. I know you shouldn't laugh, but I think it's that thing. That's of, good. It's unexpected. That's good. And no one else saw it. I felt like it was just a little private thing for me to see. Yeah. And um, that's yeah, good. Yeah, things, things like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Injured babies. What's not? What's not? No, but they're like? fairly relaxed, aren't they? That they, they can. T I don't think he cried. My but mate. My mate once right saw this fella um, at a disco at a party. Uh, a wedding or something, right? And he was a fellow in a wheelchair and he was sort of on the dance floor dancing and um, someone <laughs> threw up down the back of him, right? And he said he was spinning round trying to look at it like a dog chasing his tail. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> I thought that would catch her. If you'd seen it, you'd have laughed, wouldn't you? Yeah, maybe. But he was holding a baby and he dropped it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Isn't it you that said you sometimes think you'd like to slap a baby? No. You did? No, not slap. That makes it sound really bad. Just what? hit the back of its head. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, God! Why oh. would you do that? I don't know. It's just... I think it's that thing. It's oh. the shape of the back of a baby's head. It's sort of... It's asking for it, in a way. Yeah. It's just... I just want to either squeeze it or... Like I said to you with kittens, squeezing a kitten's head. Yeah. It's too hard. So it hurts it. What? Because it's so nice. It's like, oh, I want to... There's something there that I just want to... Yeah. I used to do it to my dog's head. Yeah. Like, and yet you won't feel your own testicles? No. You won't let anyone else feel them? Well, if I'm not having a go, I'm not letting <laughs> anyone else have a go either. <laughs> why, why would that be all right? Well, we might really enjoy pressing them like a, no. like a, like a puppy or no. a baby. No. Yeah. I know it's serious and I know that people should, but there's something... I, I don't know if I've got extra sensitive ones or... <laughs> I, why are we talking about this? <laughs> 